Hey everyone, welcome to Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. Tonight we're going to actually go over some uh, basic SEO tactics to get your Wix website um, on the front page of Google. Uh, you're going to see a lot of people that are going to tell you that Wix does not do well with SEO, does not do well with ranking high on a search engine. Those people are wrong. Uh, just as a, an example, uh, we're actually going to go take a look at my site. Um, one thing you always want to do when you are checking where you rank on Google is you want to make sure to clear your browsing history. Your browsing history actually can affect where you rank on um, Google if you've gone to your site just for whatever reason. So I'm just going to take a minute to clear that. There we go. So, if I search for one of my services for my business, Our Memories in Motion, we do... So anybody that's not from around the... from around uh, Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania, uh, Lehigh Valley is a fairly wide county and I have at least one major player that is a big competition to me. If I search for VHS to DVD, which is one of my main services for my company, I have ranked number one. Uh, just to give you a head, kind of a background, um, I've been using Wix for about three years now. Prior to using Wix, I was not ranking number one. Um, if you see Dance Camera, Dance Camera is a major, major company. Um, they have two storefronts. They've been in business longer than me. I still rank higher than them. So there's your proof. As long as you do some basic SEO stuff, you can rank very high on Google. I will admit I am not number one for everything. I am within five rankings on about 95% of my services. If you can see, if you rank on the first five, you're in the eye of your your users, your, your client base. So, now we log into to Wix, and we're gonna use that test site that we used before. So Wix, you can basically do one of two things when it comes to doing SEO with Wix. You can either do it on your own, or you can use the Wix um, SEO tool, or I think now it's called um, getting listed on Google. Um, if you do some of this stuff now, it'll make going through the SEO wizard a lot easier, a lot quicker too. Uh, so if we go to manage pages, and we go just to our homepage, okay, we're gonna go to SEO. So the stuff we're gonna go on over tonight is very, very basic SEO practices. Um, on-site SEO practices um, and dealing with the titles and descriptions of your pages. That's it. That's all we're going to talk about tonight. If we look at the SEO portion of the site, so we have the go to SEO Wiz. That's kind of your walkthrough of your step-by-step um, -step when it comes to how to rank uh, and do some SEO stuff on your site. If we kind of get a little uh, created, we can do some stuff prior to that just to make it a little bit easier using the SEO Wiz. So my page title should always have my business. So we'll just use my business just for the sake of using a name. Your location. So your location is, um, you can be as broad as you want to be. The more narrow you become, the easier it is to rank. I always tell my clients, you want to rank locally before you even think about ranking nationally. Google is huge. Um, the internet itself is huge. We want to make sure we rank somewhere, so we want to rank locally first. So again, my local area is the Lehigh Valley. One other thing I may want to do is think of the main service that I offer. So like I say, VHS DVD is my main service. So I may do VHS DVD, okay? 
So that should be your kind of your your thought process when it comes to each page, not only your home page, but each individual page. Each individual page should have your business name, your location, and then what that page is about. So a keyword regarding that page, well, whether it's um, your about page, um, your services page, the easiest way to rank is to have a service page for each service that you offer, which then you can basically narrow down your page title to that service. If it's an about page, you don't just wanna have about as your page title, you wanna have about and then your business. So this would be my about page, it would be about our memories in motion, not about us, about our memories in motion. That our memories in motion is, is key because that is my business name. Now in the description, what I may do with this is use my business name and then list all of my services. So specializes in VHS to DVD. I may even be a little bit more broad and say specializes in videotape to DVD. Um, think about what your clients are going to be using to search for your name. Do a little bit of keyword research before you do this and we'll, we'll go over that in another video and kind of how to look at your keywords and try to figure out what keywords you want to use. But this is just basically your your kind of from the top on page SEO. Um, as simple as we can do it for tonight. Um, Google will tell you that they don't use their your description for your um, rankings, but I have found that is not to necessarily be true. So if we go back into Google, we do VHS to DVD, and we have Alley, you'll see who has highlighted or bold faced some of the things that I have already searched for. What that's showing is that that's showing that Google is looking in that description for certain things. Um, and we'll get on, on we'll, we'll talk about some off off page SEO in another another video. But this video shows as well some off page SEO stuff. And the big thing is Google My Business. We'll talk about Google My Business in another another, another uh, video, but right there is Google My Business showing me as the, as the um, kind of prominent business for VHS DVDs in the Lehigh Valley. Again, we'll go over that in another video, um, but that's just going to give you a gist of, of what that is. Once we are done with all of this, we want to always make sure to publish our, our site and then we're live, then we're good to go. Um, another video, we will also go over how to submit your site to Google tonight, completely all on titles and descriptions. Make sure that your title includes your business name, your local area, and I say local, a local area, you can be your county, your town, uh, depends on how big your town is. If your town has 15 people, you may not want to use that as your, your area. If your county has 100 people, may not be, but would be a little bit better to use. And then I recommend using your main service in that title. Um, you can also use your state in that title. So I may put Lehigh Valley and then Pennsylvania, um, just to give a little bit more narrowed down um, look to my, to my, uh, my titles. So your title should basically tell Google who you are, where you are, and what that service is that you're offering. So keep an eye on for the uh, next updated video. Uh, next updated video is going to look at some more in-depth in depth on page SEO, um, mainly your alt tagging of your images. So that's, that's next. Um, keep an eye out for that. Until then, uh, make sure to subscribe on the bottom of the page. Um, view any of the other videos that I've done on the top right. Should be kind of up there right about now. Um, of any videos that you're that you're looking for that um, I've already completed. So make sure to subscribe, like our Facebook page, 
and have a great night.